minute to just ask you. Monday. Well, your friend, your colleague, uh, Governor Nisun Wike, and some of his other colleagues and some other members of your party yesterday said that they're pulling out of the campaign council, which you chair. I know you said you speak about campaign council when it's inaugurated, but it's all over the place today. So what if they announce that um, they will not support the PDP, they will support another political party? How would your party respond? <laughs> uh, Chamberlain, I listened to the newspaper review, and I discovered that a lot of attention given to PDP, crisis, this and that and that. And um, I have one policy. Certain things I believe are things that could be done in a house. I don't take them outside. This is a family business. And you mentioned uh, Nyeshwam Wiki is my brother. You all know that. So, and um, I agree as a party. Do you know one thing about politics? Let's leave PDP aside. One thing I discovered about politics and life, people should try to do what they say they will do. That's the cause of some of the problems. If I say I'll do this, I will do B if A happens. Let me keep to that. If I say I'll do B if C happens, let me also keep to that. So I think uh, it's not about mentioning people's name, this one, that one, that one. Uh, everybody has a right to express his own views the way he wants. Everybody is not the same. So uh, we don't try to look at individuals. What we are trying to look at is PDP is a family. If we have issues as a family. We'll come back and resolve those issues as a family. So don't expect me now to take the whole, oh, this is what we are going to do, this is what we are going to do. I can assure you we'll resolve this problem. And any of the parties, I mean, thank God, they say this is what we want. This party say this is what we want. I mean, we can always reach an agreement. To me, I believe we'll do that. Uh, the campaign, as I said, will flag that off on the 28th. Once we are we're inaugurated, as a campaign council, and then we'll try to see what we can do. Uh, but believe me, we'll resolve these issues. These are not, these are not high mountains that is so difficult to climb. Uh, what all the parties want is, is so simple. Uh, but it's only, you know, when newspapers are reporting, they will sensationalize the whole matter. Uh, but it's been up for months. Uh, but um, it's allowed. See, let me also tell you one thing. If you lose a mother and people don't let you cry, you bubble up the emotions. You never can tell. So at times you also allow people air their views. It's good. And you also try to listen to people. So I think we should develop listening ears and listen to people and listen to complaints and so on and do something about it. That's why I'm assuring you that there's time for everything. That was the time for everybody to air their own views, their grievances and so on. Then the period of time will come back home and say, okay, we've heard you. Okay. Let's do A, B, C, D. Your Excellency. Whether we we'll resolve this, the answer is yes. It's a family affair. We'll resolve it. Your, Your Excellency, in going forward, sometimes well, you may you. have to go backward. I promised mm -hmm. myself I'll ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Your friend, Governor Yesom Wiki, had said just after the primaries <laughs> yes. that some southern governors betrayed him. Uh, do you perhaps fall into that category? What was your role during the primaries? Because you, you know, were also no, an no, aspirant. No, see, I, I contested an election. The election I contested, I can't come back and um, say certain things. That's my personal style. Um, it can't be because of politics. You change my lifestyle like that overnight. Mind you, uh, politics came to meet some of us with some threats that we have as human beings and also as leaders. So today, you asking me about the election I contested, uh, I think it, would be, uh, it wouldn't be nice. Because even the leadership book that I read every day, he said, remember ye not the former things. Behold, I do a new thing. So if uh, God himself would tell me, remember ye not the former things, behold, I do a new thing. Who am I for you to want to take me back to former things that I God is telling me not to remember, that he wants to do a new thing? I'm interested in the new thing. That's why I say it's a family affair. We'll come back and chart a new cause that we can win an election in 2023. And I'm sure we'll win. So don't worry. I mean, people are just so much interested. This, that, that, that. Uh, leave us but alone. But what's your relationship with him now? Excellent. We are brothers. Excellent. Uh, are you prevailing on him to reconsider? Uh, brothers the, don't come and discuss of his what is inside their bedroom to outsiders. Why do you want to know what we discuss? It's important. It's, <laughs> it's material no, I talk when to I say we are, No, no, no. I thought when I say we are brothers, you should be satisfied with that. How can two brothers discuss something inside their father's house? 
and then come and say that outside. It's wrong now. We can't do that. But isn't that part of what's causing the rift? Because two brothers discussed. One said he was going to do something. Were you there? He didn't do it. Were you there? One of the brothers said. No, were you there? It also depends which brother. You know, there's half brother, and there's full brother. But they're brothers. Uh, and there's blood brother, and there's a brother-in-law. So uh, I'm but, saying but this is my blood brother. So. What blood brothers discuss inside? They don't take it outside. But your excellency, if you were blood brothers, mm. full brothers, mm -hmm. whatever capacity of mm -hmm. brothers, mm -hmm. aren't you supposed to be at that meeting where they took their decision? Which decision? By his right hand. Which decision? That they were going to withdraw from the campaign council. We didn't see you there. No, don't worry about that now. I mean, you see, I've told you something here. Uh, we sensationalize matters a whole lot. Uh, let me also say something here. You see, what we try to do is we try to box individuals to our own lifestyle. It cannot work like that. We are all adults, so. so we know what is good for us. We know what is right for us. So allow people to air their views. This is always a problem. But don't also ignore people, which is also also the problem we are having. That's why I'm saying that we cannot ignore anybody if we must win election in 2023. We cannot ignore anybody. We need to go back and carry everybody along. It's very necessary. And I promise you, we're not going to ignore any dissenting voice. I mean, that clearly we will not. Uh, because you see, at times we just um, see issues and we believe that issue will go away if we ignore it. No, not at all. You don't ignore issue and believe the issue will go away. This one thing we will not ignore. We'll take it headlong and we'll resolve it. Okay, Be satisfied that, with that. Mm. That comment uh, from the presidential, presidential candidate, candidate appears yeah. as though he says they will be moving on whether or not they pull out. So but I read, no, no, no. But you see, I read what he wrote. That's why I say at times certain things are sensationalized. I don't know whether you have the script of what he wrote. Yeah, well. uh, and did you see that phrase? No, Where he, says it, uh, no did he write? No, hold on. No, hold on. Did he write that we'll move on? Because I didn't see it anywhere. I can read the script for you. But, but his comment is de appears definitive when he says that the removal of the national chairman has to follow the constitution. But what could he have said? He's a law abiding citizen. He said, let's follow the constitution. At times it's as simple as that. But also, let me leave PDP alone, leave everything about policies alone. And let me also say something. I think the earlier.